in this video, we're going to be subtracting regular fractions with different denominators. Okay, so here we have 5 ninths minus 1 third. It's written horizontally. We want to stack it up and write it vertically. 5 ninths minus 1 third. Okay, as you can see, our fractions have different denominators, which means we need to get to a common denominator. First, we're going to be setting up our parentheses. And getting to that common denominator. When we check these denominators, we want to see if one of the denominators can turn it can fit into the other denominator evenly. Three can be multiplied and turn into nine. Three times three gets us to nine. So we want to turn this three into a nine. Okay? We don't want nine to change, so we're going to multiply that by one, since any number times one equals itself. When you're multiplying, you're multiplying straight across. Five times one is five. Nine times one is nine. And again, top times top, bottom times bottom, one times three is three. And three times three is nine. We have our common denominators, so now we can subtract. Starting with our numerators always. Five minus three equals two. And whenever we are adding and subtracting, our denominator will stay the same. So nine comes down. Two ninths is our answer. Now, if your denominators don't fit in, fit in equally, we're gonna be working on a problem where that happens. Here we have six sevenths minus one half, horizontal, gotta write it vertically. So six sevenths minus one half. Different denominators, we need a common denominator, setting up our parentheses. 2 cannot turn into 7 when we multiply it, so we're multiplying the old denominators together. I'll take 7 times 2 and 2 times 7 here. Same as we did before, top times top, bottom times bottom. 6 times 2 is 12. 7 times 2 is 14. 1 times 7 is 7. And 2 times 7 is 14. Now that we have our common denominators, we can subtract, starting with our numerators. 12 minus 7 gets us 5. Denominator is going to stay the same. 5 fourteenths is our answer there.